What I'd like to do now is let's use a few examples that can help you uh, uh, work with these uh, uh, diminishes with the bowel notes. Um, let's, let's change keys. Let's go to the key of B flat major. And B flat major key, you, you can play the two five of B flat major. C minor seven. Let's add the flat of 9 to the F7 to the B flat major. Now, the F7 with the flat of 9 creates a diminish. And remember, the diminish can be found on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, and flat of 9. If we look at the 3rd, it's the A diminish. And it's actually exactly the same diminish that we're working on for the D7. It's also the C diminish. So F7 and D7 have the same diminish. And you should know that because when we were lowering the notes down a half a step, we discovered the D7 and the F7. Okay, so here's the A7, A is the diminished. That is the top note of the F7. Let's take the top note of it and borrow the note almost below it. Now let's move this, let's invert the diminished up. And do the same thing, borrow the top note and bring it back. So we have. And let's go back to the first one. So we have. And let's play it on the second beat. On the first beat, we'll play C minor 7. One, two, and three, and four, and four. Resolving to B flat major 7. Let's do it again. You have the C minor 7 for one beat, and it diminishes. And what it is, it's the A diminished, right? Starting on the fourth string, A, E flat, G flat, and C. I'm going to change my fingers so I could borrow that instead of the C, play the D. Do the same inversion. And then to add more color, we play the B flat major 7 for two beats. And then the B flat major seven with the six and two beats. So we have C minor for one beat. Right? Let's do that descending in whole step. That's a good way to practice progressions like that. When you descend in whole step, you, you kind of demand yourself to learn it in other keys and it makes everything a lot clearer. Now this could probably move faster than you can immediately adapt to it and you have to, to sit on it. Let's let's review it first and then I will play. We have C minor seven, F seven, B flat major seven, then B flat minor seven, E flat seven, A flat major seven, then A flat minor seven, D flat seven, G flat major seven. Because B7 can also take you to B flat major 7. So we went down in whole step. And when we got to the B7, we used that B7 to take us back to B flat major. Because B7 can take you to B flat major. For those of you familiar with it, it's the triangle of F. So instead of playing the 5, you can play the, the dominant chord a half step above it. So we have again 2, 5 in B flat major 7. second beat and it's eight notes. Two and three and four and one and three and you play two two beats of B flat major seven two beats of B flat major seven with a six. And we will do the same thing all steps down. Let's see what happens. One Just so we can 
have done it in, in other position, I want to this E flat diminish on, on the fifth string. Because everything you do with those diminishes in this kind of format, you have to remember that you have two other ways to do it. You have a way to do it on the top four strings, a way to do it on the middle four strings, and a way to do it on the bottom four strings. notes that belong to the roots of the dominance are hosted above the highest note. 